is a Choose Your Own Adventure DUI edition, part 28. Okay, I've had a couple of drinks tonight, but I don't think I'm intoxicated, and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be below the legal limit. When the cop asked me, How much have you had to drink tonight? I told him. I had a couple drinks a few hours ago, but totally good to drive. Now that was the truth. But it didn't seem like he believed me because he asked me out of the vehicle. Just so I know that you're good to drive, would you mind stepping out for a field sobriety test? To which I said, Field sobriety test? Sure, I'll give it a shot, why not? And so here I am on the side of the road, performing all those field sobriety tests. And as we learned, those aren't really tests. Those are evidence gathering exercises. And he got lots of notes on my level of intoxication by his perception. So when he asked me to do the portable breath test, would you mind performing a portable breath test? I politely declined to do the breath test. I don't want to keep doing these exercises with him. And that's my right. However, it's a rolling joke with police officers. You had two drinks two hours ago, well, you're getting two handcuffs. Once you say that to an officer, he doesn't believe you. That is an absolute indication that you've been drinking and nobody tells the truth in their mind. So when he asks you out of the car to do the field sobriety test, he is looking for a reason to arrest you. And at this point, unfortunately, your two handcuffs to go with the two drinks you had earlier are coming your way. Ah, arrested for a DUI. That's the way this goes. Now, as you're getting arrested, you do have another choice. You could decide to say nothing and let your lawyer or 1-800-NO-CUFFS deal with this. Go to part 36. Or, because he's gonna arrest you anyways, why don't you agree to do the breath test now? Just offer that. Hey, I'll do the breath test. Don't arrest me yet. Go to part 39. 